Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to jump on real quick and do a um, flip through slash setup video of how I have my 2019 mini on the go planner set up. Um, so I carry it in the recollections planner cover thing, the personal size, and I just put some washi over where I sliced it open, take the rings out like most people do. Um, you can either do it that way or like unstitch it down here. Um, I didn't want to do that, <laughs> so I just slid it in the middle. Um, anyhow, I'm just going to focus on this part real for right now. Um, this is just going to be for information that I need when I'm on the go, um, what I need. So I went ahead and took out the month, or not the months, the weeklies. All I wanted was the monthly. So I took out all of the weekly inserts. Um, all the way through actually except except December because I just wanted to leave that in there just to show you at the end of the video um, what I did which is not complicated in any way whatsoever but just in case you wanted to see that I decided to leave one month and then I'll show you um, next I just have some random scratch paper stuff this is from one of my old happy planners um, one of the sections that wasn't used up so I just cut it up stuck it in there um, just because if I need to jot something down or give some something to somebody. I don't want to use my good paper. <laughs> so I use that. Um, my next section, and I have to label these, but I haven't done that yet, is my note section. Um, so I just have like random sheets of paper on there, um, lined paper. The next section was just going to be for lists, like to-do lists, or not to-do, yeah, well to-do lists, shopping lists, things like that, grocery lists. Um, so, and then, yeah, then I have my to-do list that I created, and it's got, like, notes on the back, a note sheet, so I can use that. And then the last section I have in here is just going to have um, my contacts. And so, obviously, this one's blank. The other ones have stuff in them, so I'm not going to show those. But um, I wanted something very simple that just had a name and phone number. I didn't need addresses or birth dates or anything like that, because this is literally just what I might need on the go. Um... And, like, for instance, if I lose my phone, I leave it at home, the battery dies or whatever, and I need to get a hold of somebody, then I have, you know, the contacts form or sheet that I created in there. And then the last part, I just have a folder in here. And this was from, what was it called, like, So Glam or something like that. Whatever Walmart's little knockoff Happy Planner thing was, their disc bound that they had recently. Um, I found this on clearance a couple weeks ago for like 88 cents. It was like four or five of them in there or something. So I just bought that just to, you know, keep something in if I needed to keep a receipt or a piece of paper or anything like that in there. Um, I could just stick it in there. So that is really it. I'm just going to show you how to put those two pages together, but that's it. And then I have just this little, um, page marker that I made. I just got a folder from like the Dollar Tree and then cut it down to size and rounded out the corners and then punched it um, with my tool punch. And so I just put that in the month that I'm currently in. Not that it's, you know, super hard to just flip to the month since there's not that many sheets in here, but it's nice to just grab really quickly. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, it's kind of silly, um, was this, um, this like dashboard divider thing. So if you have this, you know that it says like hustle hard on it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of some of the sayings and things that the Happy Planner has on stuff. I love the Happy Planner and I love the colors and how pretty a lot of the stuff is. Um, but I'm not a, not a huge fan of that, like the hustle hard or hustle girl, whatever it said on there. So all I did, um, for those of you who are also like me, who am not a huge fan of stuff like that, is I just took a Q-tip with some acetone, nail polish remover, but the acetone based one, and just cleaned it right off. Like it came off super easy. Um, I'm going to do it on the hustle part too, but I did want to leave it there just for now, just so I could show you um, that you can take those off if you're someone like me who doesn't like that stuff. If you like that stuff, that's awesome. Um, that's great. I just It's just not my cup of tea, so... Um, so I took it off, so it's awesome. Now I prefer it without that kind of stuff. So anyhow, the last thing I'm just going to, really quick, not that this is complicated or anything, but um, just take out the weekly sheets, 
And then I just have some double-sided craft tape that I got off of Wish.com um, a long time ago. And then I just stick a few pieces on here. And I did, obviously, most of this off-camera because I don't know how interested you guys would be in watching me struggle with um, the backing of this tape because I will. I'll struggle. I struggle with stickers. I struggle with all that stuff. You would think it'd be easy since grade school kids do it, but apparently not for me. <laughs> so anyhow, and I don't put a ton because I'm not like super rough on this um, since it's just my on the go and I rarely use it for anything other than like appointments and things that I need to know outside of the house. Um, reason I took the weeklies out was I found myself writing the same information in my classic and then writing it again in this planner and that seemed a little redundant and silly. Um, so now you're just, I'm just laying this page on top of the other one, smoothing it out. It's best to leave it on the rings like this. Um, if you take it out and try to line it up, you're going to have a lot harder time. But anyhow, so I, yeah, I just felt my, or found myself just rewriting stuff um, in both planners, like to-do lists and things like that that required me to be home to do anyway. So what was the point of writing in my classic, then writing it in my mini, and then scratching it off of both? Now, that being said, I love a checklist and I love um, marking things off, checking things off. I make, <laughs> it makes me feel so accomplished. So double marking things off is great, but writing everything twice seemed kind of silly. So anyhow, that is why I did that. Um, so yeah, that is about it. Oh, <laughs> so I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this paper. I have a ton of it now since I took all of it out of here. Um, so if you have any ideas for it, leave them in the comments below. I'm, I mean, I guess I could just trim it and just use it as note paper. Um, but I'm not really sure. I have a lot of it now, so I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um, so again, any ideas, leave them down below. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's about it for this setup. The last thing I did want to show you, I guess, or bring up, was this little divider that I keep on the back here. This is the dividers that came with the um, recollection bind binder itself. Um, it comes with like three of them or something. What I did, all I did was um, trim them down, trim off the little holes that they already had on there. I think there's like six of them. Sorry, that's probably loud. I mean, I personally love that sound. I'm sure on the camera it's really loud. So anyhow, I trimmed those off with my paper trimmer and then I punched it with my tool punch. Um, it's really quite thick, so do not try and use your Happy Planner punch. It will not go well for you. Um, that Happy Planner punch is definitely only made for a few sheets of paper. But anyhow, so then I punched it just so that it could... Um, Sorry, I know this is loud. It's kind of pointless for me to take it off anyway, but I'm sorry. Um, just so I could slip it in here to put this because I've seen people just, you know, kind of put their back cover in here. But mine does not fit <laughs> at all. I'm like, I don't know if they trim theirs down or if some of them are a little smaller than others on planners. But, um, so yeah, so I just grab that, stick that in there, and it stays pretty good in place. I mean, if it was a little bit bigger, it'd be better because then it wouldn't wiggle around so much. But it, you know, I really don't have that big of a problem with it. So then I just have my trusty little pen in here and that is all. And yeah, I don't really keep anything in this slot. I'm not very decorative. Like I don't like, this is the extent of my decoration and that's just because I need to cover the holes that I made in there. But, um, I keep like receipts in here sometimes when I'm on the go or like a coupon. Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't keep like the embellishments and stuff in there. It's just, it's just too much for me. I love seeing other people's videos with them on there, but it's just too much for me. It like makes my brain fuzzy, I guess, or I don't know. But anyhow, so yeah, that is all that I have for you for my mini, um, on the go planner setup. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, consider subscribing. I will also be posting some setup flip throughs of my other planners, my classic and all the other ones that I mentioned in my 2019 planner lineup, which I will put in the cards above and in the description box below. Um, I 
I'm pretty much done. I think that's it. <laughs> if you have any questions, again, leave them down below, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.